experience. We want for each of you to share and like this with many of your friends because we invite them to share with us each and every Sunday as we make the rounds on the Paul and Shore. So again, thank you for joining us and we're praying for each of you and your families that God's grace will continue to be with thee and continue to strengthen thee. Also, we'll continue on this coming Wednesday at 7 o'clock for our Bible study on Zoom. Our Bible study on Zoom. And you can, the link will be in the, in the, on the page here where you can get the link. If you have trouble getting the link, uh, get it on, just give us a call and we will help you to get on on Wednesday at seven o'clock for our Bible study time. Our Bible class is on Wednesday at seven o'clock. Also, we will have service on next Sunday, fifth Sunday service in our, at 12 o'clock. For those of you who wants to keep up with us, uh, fifth Sunday service usually at 8 o'clock. But we'll be having it as we continue with our social media services on Facebook and YouTube at 12 o'clock on next Sunday. We're sharing with you, and we've been talking with you about going back is not an option. Going back is not an option from Philippians chapter number 3, verse 13. We'll start at verse 11. It says, If by any means I might obtain unto this resurrection of the dead, not as though I have already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgiving those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Let us pray. Father, we thank you again for this moment. You allow us to share at, your, at the table of your word, acknowledging our total dependency upon you because we can do nothing without you. So, Father, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, our strength and our redeemer. So I pray we pray in Jesus' name. Going back, it's not an option. As we navigate through this coronavirus, through this COVID-19, things are not going to be the same anymore. Changes will take place. What are they? I don't know. But all I know, it won't be the same anymore. Gatherings won't be the same anymore. All kinds of different functions will be working, will be different. Uh, spacing will be the, the thing of the hour to make sure you're spacing yourself distance enough from others. And this brings on a problem because we love to embrace and hug one another. And so, let us begin to change our mindsets to know that going back is not an option. Now, Paul, our writer, writing to the church at Philippi in prison, encouraging them at a time when he's in prison to encourage them to not allow themselves to go back, to not allow their Judaizers to take them back from which where they come. And so he shares with us in this text uh, insight 
on moving forward. And so what we find today as we continue from the last two weeks, that Paul's goal was Christ's likeness. Christ's likeness. Our goals should be the same in life and as in ministry. So Paul, in our text, he shares of some unique prerequisites in order that we can reach this Christ likeness, that we can reach this goal of being like Christ. First, we need to acknowledge our need to improve. I remember hearing someone say, the biggest room in the world is the room of improvement, and we all got plenty of good room. And we are to be aware of our need to improve, not just spiritual, spiritually, but also physically. Uh, this awareness can be expressed in two words. Paul uses not that. Not that. Meaning, I haven't made it. I'm not what I used to be, but I thank God of that. But I'm still not what I'm going to be because he's still working on you and God is still working on me. In other scriptures, Paul says he still needed to be cleansed, cleansing himself from all the defilement of the flesh. He talks about God's power working through him and his weakness. He states that his spirit, he states that his spirit didn't know how to pray as it ought. But the spirit helped us in our weakness and in our firmity. So we need to acknowledge our need to improve. We haven't arrived, haven't made it there. Secondly, we need to give a full effort. He says, but I press on, which means to run or to follow after. Again, it means to run or to follow after. It speaks of an aggressive endeavor or endurance. Uh, it speaks of being very energetic and very aggressive and moving forward. Have you ever seen someone who just do enough to get by? Mm. Yeah, you probably know them. I know them too. We have a good tendency just to do enough to get by. Just to do enough to fix reference. Just enough. Nothing. All I'm going out the way, but just enough. And we have to be cautious that we don't allow that to be a part of our spiritual development. In other scripture, Paul suggests labor and striving. I like that. The good fight of faith. Through many tribulations, we must enter the kingdom of God. So, we first need to acknowledge our need to improve. Then we need to give our full effort to improve. And thirdly, we have to remain focused. And once you're aware of your need to grow, once you know you need to give the maximum effort in this Christian race, you need to make sure you stay focused and don't lose focus. In life, there are so many things that can cause any of us to lose focus. In life, you can lose focus in the midst of crisis in your life, family issues, trials and tribulation, Devil can do all he can to try to distract you, to lose focus, because he come to steal, kill, and to destroy. Our flesh can cause us to lose focus. So how did Paul stay focused? Our text gives us some suggestions here. He says, forget it, those things which are behind. Any runner who looks back runs the risk of getting bypassed when he looks too long behind. In your car, you have a rear view mirror. And that rear view mirror is only there to take a glance to see what is behind you. And in this Christian race, we only to look just momentarily from which what is behind us, so we won't lose focus on that which is set before us. And also, Paul was able to remain focused not only about forgetting those things which were behind, but to reach forth to those things which before him. As we stated before, going back, it's not an option. That means to stretch like a runner stretches a muscle to its limit. 
That means like a runner strain in every muscle to reach the finish line. And so let us, brothers and sisters, continue to move forward by forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth to those things which are before us that we will remain focused on the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Let us pray. Father, we thank you again for this privilege and this moment you allow us to share today words of comfort to all of us, your children, in such a time like this. Lord, help us to remain focused in spite of the circumstance that is before us, where many are being going through trials and tribulations and things are all happening around us. Loved ones getting sick and others even falling. Falling and finding themselves alone. But Lord, we know that we need to reach forth, to press, to hold to your unchanging hand. Because we know that God, you will hold us in the power of your hand. So Father, we thank you again for this moment. Bless those that are listening in a special way. Supply the needs according to your riches and glory. Those who don't know you in the part of their sin, God, we say, to them, come, just as you are, without one plea. His blood was shed it just for thee. And say yes to his will and yes to his way. Help us, Lord. Because we know you promised us you'll never leave us nor forsake us. Say you'll be right there with us. You've done what you said. Through it all, we say thank you. In Jesus' name, we know going back, it's not an option. Let us move forward to the new in Christ's likeness. Amen. God have always stood by my side. He has always been my guide. Whatever I need, I'll just pray. Because I know the Lord will make the way. Y'all hear me say, He
all around us for Lord we need your protection Holy Spirit go before us make our pathway clear and our direction straight Lord keep us in your company in your care as our prayer we pray in Jesus name let us all say together Amen. Just keep the faith 